All right, guys, so what's uric acid? Uric acid is a metabolite of purine metabolism. So most people, when they think of uric acid, they're thinking of eating too much meats, right? Red meats, too much rich purine meat. Well, typically, that's a conventional wisdom, but typically uric acid, according to new data, is gonna be the major metabolite of fructose metabolism. Yes, can you increase uh, uric acid from purines and from rich meats, yes, but again, the thing is you have this metabolism or this uh, enzyme called xanthine oxidase. Again, that enzyme helps metabolize and knock down uric acid. When you have high levels of uric acid from fructose, high fructose corn syrup specifically, it's gonna negatively impair your ability to clear it out and metabolize it. So it's super important that when you look at uric acid elevations, is it coming from meat? Is it coming from fructose? It's usually gonna be the rich meats with wines and lots of other sweets and sugars around it, right? That's your typical conventional thinking. But today, it's really gonna be driven from lots of fructose. Now, when you have lots of fructose, Fructose preferentially gets metabolized in the liver. So you have glucose, goes to the muscle. So glucose primarily comes from starch, starchy sources, potatoes, those kind of things, uh, your root vegetables. Then you have fructose, which is gonna come from table sugar. Table sugar is sucrose, that's 50-50 fructose and sucrose. And then you're gonna have your high fructose corn syrup, which is 55-45 fructose to glucose. And so your typical starch is gonna be more preferentially burned by your muscles, and fructose is gonna be preferentially stored as glycogen or stored in the liver, and then also it gets converted to the liver as fat. And when that liver starts to become more and more fatty, it creates systemic insulin resistance. So your cells become more numb to insulin, they have to knock a little bit longer and harder at the door for you to answer it. So this is important. So when we go back to uric acid, uric acid, yes, can you have it from purines and meats, right? Purines are the, the, the richer types of meats, but that's not gonna be typically how you drive it to the levels that we see today. It's gonna be from fructose. And when you increase fructose, that's gonna poison your ENOS pathways. ENOS is your endothelial um, nitric oxide synthase. It's gonna be your vasodilator. It opens your blood vessels. The more open your blood vessels are, the lower the pressure, the lower the pressure, the less hard the heart has to beat to overcome that pressure to move blood. So really simple, the higher the pressure, the harder your heart has to work to move that blood, greater chance of you know heart failure and myocardial infarction. Now, when you start to make things sticky and you create glycation, cells start to stick together and, and glutinate. So when you have lots of glycation, lots of fructose, you're gonna see elevations of fructosamine and eventually your A1C. So you're sugarcoating and you're glycating all of your proteins. The more you glycate the protein, the more it creates internal wrinkling. It creates oxidation of that connective tissue inside and outside, that accelerated aging process. That's known as advanced glycation end products.